Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com. And in this video, I'm gonna take a look at the default scene settings of a viewport inside of layout and talk about the notorious last saved SketchUp view that can cause all sorts of problems with viewports changing their perspectives unexpectedly. So if you've ever had a viewport change unintentionally, then you definitely wanna watch this video. So first of all, the SketchUp model panel controls the properties of a viewport in layout. And a viewport is a special type of entity that creates a sort of window into a particular SketchUp model. So if we go to SketchUp, you can see this is the SketchUp model that we're actually looking at currently inside of layout. And that's actually what makes layout so special is its unique relationship to SketchUp in that it maintains a dynamic link to your SketchUp model and can update that link as you make changes to the design. So in order to insert a viewport, you go to file, insert, and just select the SketchUp model that you want to import. And when a viewport is selected, the SketchUp model panel will allow you to change the properties of the selected viewport. When you deselect a viewport, the SketchUp model panel isn't gonna allow you to do anything because you don't have a viewport selected. And if you need to, if you can't find the SketchUp model panel, you can just go up to window and toggle it right here. And then you just need to find it in the tray and click this arrow to expand it. Now, in order for layout to figure out the initial configuration of a newly created viewport, in older versions, this would display the last saved SketchUp view, which we'll get into in a little bit. But in more recent versions, it'll look at the last scene you had activated in SketchUp before saving the model. So in this example, we can tell that the Elevation 2 Tall Cabinet scene must have been the last scene that was activated before saving the model. And the cool thing is that layout will actually set the viewport to the saved scene properties, even if you have temporarily overridden some of them prior to saving. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I go into SketchUp and I activate the this scene right here, but if I orbit the camera out of the way, I've now overridden the camera properties that are saved in this scene. So let's go ahead and save Ske the SketchUp file um, with this camera perspective. And then let's go back to layout. And I'm gonna just start from a fresh file. So file new, we'll select some, uh, a certain paper and I'll go to file, insert. And we're gonna select that SketchUp file that I just saved. And there we go. So even though in SketchUp I overrode the, the scene camera settings uh, manually, layout is gonna look at whatever was actually saved in that scene and use that to set the viewport. So this behavior was actually introduced a couple of years ago, but it differs from an old behavior where all viewports would initially be set to a special scene called last saved SketchUp view. So last saved SketchUp view would configure the viewport to literally show exactly how the model was left off when you happen to save it. So if we go back to SketchUp, this is where we just randomly happen to save the model. And so last save SketchUp view shows you that view. So this actually causes all sorts of problems if you leave a viewport set to this scene because if you start adding dimensions and things like that, and then you go and make an update to the model in SketchUp and then save it you know, from at a different perspective, you know, maybe, maybe you're working on something else, you're working on the island, and you've made some changes here, and then you just happen to save the model here. Now the problem is when you go back to layout and update this model reference, now the last save SketchUp view has changed, so now your viewport is going to change. So this was a really common uh, point of, of confusion and frustration for users who left last save SketchUp view as the scene for the viewport. And now with SketchUp 2020, this is more important than ever because you have these different property sets that you're allowed to override in layout. So for instance, if we have this on last save SketchUp view and we select a different camera, so let's say we've overridden the camera and maybe we've overridden shadows, for instance. 
So we've explicitly decided that we want to control the camera and effects from within layout, but style and tags are still being controlled by the scene. So the problem with that is if you're working in SketchUp and let's say you've decided to hide some, some of these layers, let me just turn off um, some of these layers here and let's say we change the style you know, we're just working through and we're, for some reason, we have a, a different style we want to uh, work with at the moment. And if we just randomly save the model at this point and then go back to layout and update the model reference, what do you think is going to happen? So now we don't see anything. And the reason is because the tags are still being referenced by the last saved SketchUp view. And the style is also being referenced by the last saved SketchUp view. Now in this instance, if I, if I reset the camera perspective, I think what we're seeing here is actually a section plane that is being active. So probably in this model, yes, yeah, so we have uh, a section plane that is active. So the majority of the model is actually being hidden from view. So you can see how this can be a big cause of confusion if you leave the scene set to last save SketchUp view. So now you don't have to worry about that happening anymore as long as you have at least one scene in your model. So I recommend, even if you're not gonna be creating scenes for layout, I recommend having at least one scene called modeling where you have a very fast style set and maybe all the tags are visible. Um, and this will just kind of be like a default scene that you can always fall back to if you ever get lost in your model or you just want to quickly revert back to, you know, a standardized um, setting. And by doing that, whenever you insert the model into layout, it's always going to select uh, that modeling scene instead of last saved SketchUp view. So as long as a viewport is set to any scene other than last save SketchUp view, you'll never have to worry about a viewport changing its camera perspective or other settings. The only way a viewport um, that has a scene assigned to it can change is if you manually update the camera location uh, by updating the scene here or toggling the camera location property setting here or if you've decided to override the viewport camera settings um, inside of layout by either choosing a standard view here, and we can see that this has been overridden because of the gray background and the reset button, or the other way to override a camera setting in layout is to double click on a viewport and then you can manually orbit and pan. You can access all the different camera tools by right clicking on the viewport when you're in model space. Now, of course, this goes for all um, viewport settings and scene settings, so effects, styles, tags, etc. But if you are creating scenes um, to be used for viewports in layout, you're not going to ever be overriding the camera or double clicking here. So if you have ever experienced um, an instance where you've accidentally double clicked on a viewport when you haven't intended to, there's actually a, a new feature in 2020 if you go to edit and preferences and under general, you can actually disable that feature. So by clicking this checkbox right here, you will now prevent the ability to double click on a viewport. So that's something uh, personally I'm gonna have on pretty much most of the time because I'm always using scenes to set my camera and maybe once in a while I'll use a standard view here. Um, but if you find yourself needing to uh, disable that, you can get that in the the general preferences. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.